Well, hello everybody and happy Thursday y'all. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I told y'all that I was going to show you how to do the perfectly boiled egg. Well, I showed you how to do the perfectly boiled egg in the last video. I told you I was going to come back and show you how I prepare deviled eggs. So my water has boiled vigorously. Um, and let me just go over this real quick. In order to make the perfectly boiled egg, you have to fill a pot with cold water. Okay, put your eggs in it. Okay, cover, make sure your eggs are covered. Put it on the stove, put a top on it, okay? Let that water boil vigorously with those eggs in it. Turn it off and let that sit for 10 minutes. When it's done, you take it out the pot and then you're gonna put it under some cold water. So, it's done. Um, ooh, that's hot. Okay, so, the eggs are done. Whoops, sorry about that. Oh, that was hot. All right, so I only have five eggs because I'm only making 10 deviled eggs. When I cut them in half, it's going to be 10 because it's just four of us. So this is my pot that I had it in. The eggs have boiled vigorously. I let it sit for 10 minutes. Now I'm getting ready to show you what I'm going to do with these eggs, okay? All right, so let's go. Let me set y'all up, okay? Now hopefully this won't cut off, okay? Because I'm going to show y'all how to make deviled eggs, okay? So I'm going to take my pot, okay? I'm going to pull that hot water off of, of the pot. And I hope y'all can see what's going on. I'm going to run cold water in there. Okay? Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I had that right. I might be messing up by moving this thing around. Alright, so hopefully y'all can see. Alright, so... Pour that hot water off of those eggs. Okay, so this is cold water in here. Okay, now I'm going to need a bowl because when I take the yolk out, I'm going to need a bowl. I'm going to need this dish. I'm going to put my deviled eggs on here and I'm going to need a spoon to stir it up with. Now, I'm going to need, these are the ingredients I'm going to need for my deviled eggs. I'm going to need mayonnaise, relish, sugar, paprika and cherries okay and i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with all that and you're going to need some plastic saran wrap okay so let me go get those ingredients out the refrigerator okay all right all right mayonnaise relish what else i said mayonnaise and relish okay sweet relish mayonnaise i got my paprika up here and I have some sugar, okay? So, like I said, I really hope that y'all can see what's going on up here on this counter. Okay, now, so, my eggs is in cold water, okay? I'm going to crack them. I'm going to start to peel the shells off, okay? The shells come off, if you can see, very easily, okay? Very easily. My shells is coming off, okay? Bam. All right, so I'm going to set my um, eggs right here just for the time being, okay? So, let's just peel these really quick. See how easy that shell comes right on off, okay? These are perfectly boiled eggs, okay? Perfectly boiled eggs. Shells come off very easily. Bam. Bam. Love it. Gotta love the easy stuff, honey. You got to work smart, not hard. Because <laughs> I got other things to do, okay? I ain't got all day to be in the kitchen cooking, okay? All right, so. Got that and one more. So, I only did five because um, it's only four of us, so I didn't want to make a whole dozen of, um, of eggs. All right, now, let's just set this to the side. All right, so I'm going to take my eggs. Oh, and you need a knife, okay? I'm going to cut the egg in half, okay? Just like this, okay? Well, I'm going to put it on this side, okay? You could either...
take it like this and just plop the yolk right out of it, okay? It comes out easily. Or you can take a spoon and just, you know, spoon it out. I like to do it like this because it, it comes right out easily, okay? But if it doesn't come out easily, you just spoon it out, okay? Spoon your yolk out and put your, your egg white. Now, I tore that one. But you put your egg white right in this little tray, okay? So, let me just do that real quick. I like to just pop it out because it comes out easy and you don't have to worry about it breaking like it did when I used the spoon. See, you just pop it right on out. All right. See, comes right out. And you don't want to push too hard because then you'll break it. Love deviled eggs, okay? This recipe is courtesy of my mama, okay? My mama makes the best deviled eggs. Now, even though I split this one and the other one, I'll show you how that's not going to make a big difference, okay? Okay. All right. Oops. Just a little bit left in here. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to mash. This is what it, you want to mash those eggs up. Okay. That's in that bowl. Okay. Now I don't have any exact measurements for you as far as how much, you know, mayonnaise, but you don't want it to be loose and drippy. Okay. Taking you mash that all up like into crumbs, into a crumb form. Okay? And I'll show you what it looks like after I mash it all up. It's gonna be like a crumb type form texture once you let me show you what that's gonna look like. Okay, it looks like crumbs, okay? And this is, these are the eggs. Don't worry about the ones that split because we can fix that, okay? So, let's put y'all back up here like that. All right, now, you're gonna take some relish. Ooh. Okay. Now, like I said, I don't measure it, but I figure a tablespoon, let's start with that. Well, two tablespoons. We'll start with two tablespoons of relish. Oh my gosh, I should have pre-opened these things before I even came on set. Ugh. Haven't been opened yet, so. Mayonnaise, okay? Start off with a little mayonnaise, because like I said, you don't want it to be too much. So get a nice, healthy, um tablespoon of mayonnaise and mix it up and then if you see that you know you need more add more because it's better to have less and add more than to have too much and because you can't take it back okay and I'm just gonna sprinkle some sugar in there okay oh I forgot to get my cherry so let me grab that real quick I'll show y'all what I'm gonna do with my cherries at the end this is what it looks like okay Okay, so you mix that up, okay? And I'll show you the texture of it so that you'll see what it, what it needs to look like, okay? Okay, see, it's not too runny, it's kind of thick. That's how you want it, okay? And then you just taste it. Just put a little bit on your finger to taste it to make sure it should have a little sweetness to it. Okay? If that's how you like your deviled eggs. I like mine sweet. Okay? Um, for those of you who don't like it sweet, then fine. Don't add the sugar. But I like mine sweet. Okay? So, that's the texture you want. So you just take it and you just put it right over top of the egg. Just like that, if y'all can see that. I'll show you what it looks like once I'm done putting it all in here. Now, 
this is just a little bit too loose for my liking, but it's okay. Once I put it in the refrigerator, it'll set and it'll be fine, okay? So you're just taking some on a spoon and you're just putting it right into the little openings of the egg, okay? And like I said, I'll show you what that looks like once I'm done. Sorry for the noise, but my kids haven't long gotten in from school. So I wanted to go ahead and get this out the way um, really quick. Okay. So let me just show you in the middle of, of it what's, what's going on. See, this is what it's looking like so far. Okay. All right, all right, so what you wanna do is, okay, let me just put these together. You wanna take and sprinkle some paprika on it, okay? Now, paprika is good for bringing out the flavors in your food, but it's also good for decorating and making things look pretty, okay? So you just put some paprika on there, and then you just take your strawberries or your cherries. These are, these are cherries, okay? And you cut them in half. Okay? And you just put them right on the top of your, um, of your, uh, of your eggs. Okay? Alright, so let me just show you that real quick and I'll finish the rest later. But for the purposes of the video, this is what it looks like, okay, when you're finished, okay? So you got perfectly good deviled eggs with uh, paprika and uh, cherries on top, okay? See how pretty that look? Yeah. So all you need is mayonnaise, relish, paprika, and sugar, okay? And bam, there you have it. All right, so welcome to Mama's Kitchen, and that's how Mama do her deviled eggs, okay? So I'm going to go back and finish that up, and then I got to go get my ribs and my chicken breasts and all that seasoned up and together, okay? Hope you enjoy, and 